and welcome back to me playing Banished on uh, whatever I named the thumbnail, I forgot. It's also gonna be in the title, the title but it is harder settings, disasters are on, it's harsh, cl harsh climate, it's hard starting conditions. And uh, what else is there? No, nothing else, it's valley still. Uh, I intend to keep mountain for the last third village that we're gonna build after this. This is Palmer Town! Welcome to Palmer Town, everyone. The city where there is a lake with an isle in the middle. That's actually kind of fancy. But I actually was striked immediately by the looks of this. Look at all this space! Look at this! The size of all this! This this is huge! That's an understatement. And it's a large map after all. Uh, I think WASD is in fact the keys. There is a lot of space to build here. For both, both wilderness, for gatherers and stuff like that all the way to farm fields and stuff like that. The only downsides that I've noticed is uh, this tiny hill here, this hill here, as well as a hill here, which I don't think are buildable. No, they're not. But it doesn't really matter in the long run. There is enough space, more than enough space for everything to happen, which makes me very happy. <clears throat> anyway, let's get started here, shall we? Uh, without further ado, we're gonna queue up our workers. We have eight laborers, nine children. I wouldn't be surprised if one of these children became a laborer very, very soon. We're gonna harvest some trees. We're gonna harvest these rocks, these rocks, and this. Awesome. We're gonna make a tiny little stockpile here for the time being. Four times four is gonna be sufficient. And we're gonna go up to ten times speed. I think I can. Uh, work up with 10 times speed. It's not that hard, you get used to it eventually. Now, uh, our toughest priority is setting up food production as well as houses as well as uh, woodcutters, but that is not really an issue in the long run. I think we should be able to do everything of it in time before anyone dies. It happened to be before that someone di decided to just die because they're fools. Other than that, you know, I think we can, we can do it quite nicely. <clears throat> So I think I'm gonna pause one moment, we're gonna build a couple of houses, or rather, queue up a couple of houses. Uh, let me think a bit about the layout, I guess town center over here, uh, let me see a bit, uh, where could a marketplace be? There is a hill, an unbuildable hill there. Nothing else around the zone, so... I suppose we could build a marketplace here, for the time being I'm gonna pause it. We're not gonna build it yet, don't worry. I'm not that crazy. I just use it as a measure to plop down houses. There we go. It's gonna be four houses initially. We're gonna pause the production of two for the time being. And we're gonna queue up right away with top priority a gatherer's hut down here in the wilderness. Um, yeah, I guess this is gonna be okay. Let me just think about the layout that I've actually learned to do. There's a cliff up there, but that's not really an issue, as far as I know. So basically, the gatherers is gonna be here. Adjacent to it is gonna be the... Um, forester, right over here. There's gonna be a road in the between here. There's gonna be a stockpile here. A storage barn and a hunter's here. That is basically the 12 times 14 grid layout that I've actually designed. It's actually very useful. Uh, it works. You just need to be careful because those sneaky hills, unbuildable hills, can be hiding everywhere. <coughs> that said, we're gonna prioritize this building up. So the houses are gonna be built later. I believe right now every laborer is going to go straight for those buildings instead. We're gonna set up free builder for the time being. Problem is this is quite far away so what I'm gonna do is uh, set up a very tiny temporary stockpile over here. No, this is not good because they have to remove something. Uh, so we're gonna remove it. I believe it's this rock here. So it doesn't really need to be that big, it's just for clearing out the stone and store it for the time being. There we go. This, this is gonna be sufficient for the time. It doesn't remove anything, so everyone will be delivering the material here. And this one should be built before too too long. 
fact, materials are already being assembled for building this building. 12 more wood, and uh, that's gonna be it. The builders are gonna start building it. After that, we're gonna skew up these things to be built. Um, yep, it's starting to be built. Perfect. Now the workers should, in all likelihood, start up on uh, that. Uh, we have our gatherers. We're gonna set up three workers to work immediately on the food production because we're gonna need that food. And the rest should be okay. This house building for now. We're gonna need four houses roughly for four families that we start with. There we go, that is another one. Uh, firewood and food is low, of course, because we just built a couple of houses. They like to um, take all the food right away, like they don't give a goddamn care about anyone else. These people are hungry, which Actually, no, they're not hungry, they're just, yeah, they're just foodless for the time being. But I believe that they share eventually, like, they share between citizens, so that's okay. Sometimes. I am not sure. Anyway, we're gonna build, what we're gonna build is um, a thingy, a uh, wood cutter. There's actually a tiny cliff here, I didn't notice it. I'm gonna pause here a moment to plan out this accordingly. We can actually move this woodcutter a bit down the road. Let's put it here. It should be built before too long, and as we go on, we can queue up these trees to be removed. So we have a better supply of that. And still in the close, close proximity. There we go. Okay, there is the woodcutter is built. We can set up a woodcutter to work in there right away. And everything should be going okay for the time being. Now, of course, gather is not going to be very productive simply because the storage cart is over here. For that, I think we're going <clears> to <throat> focus on... Uh, now, plan this accordingly. One, two, three, four, five. And a row down here. Now, there should be one, two, three, four, three, actually, three. Uh, let, me, let me stop here one moment. What we're gonna do is... Uh, firewood is low, firewood is low, that's not a problem. Uh, it's early autumn. Despite that, I don't think it's gonna be life-threatening to us. Uh, let me just check. I'm gonna plop down this, so that I know the length. Okay, so it goes all the way till down here. Alright. The storage barn goes right about over here. By the road being there, you know, there is a, a possible roadblock. You cannot build there because the storage barn road must be there, you know. It still, like, won't affect that too, too much. Or too bad, anyway. So, uh, we're gonna destroy this building for the time being. We don't really need it. <clears throat> and we're gonna focus on building the storage barn as soon as possible, hopefully. And that's gonna be okay. Uh, our storage is gonna be... Or rather, our food is gonna be deposited very close by. Now the problem is the main river is not very close to this town, so it's gonna take a while before we set up a fissure. But that's not a problem really. I believe that by year two I'm gonna build a bridge and possibly already a gatherer on the other side of the river. That might be a viability, a possibility. I think I'm actually gonna put four workers here right away. Uh, full saturation for this building which is quite okay for me. It's autumn, harsh climate dictates that it's already gonna be below zero Celsius, so quite tricky weather. However, we have a bit of firewood in the reserves. We don't have logs though, so that is quite a thing that I need to worry about right away. And one of the disadvantages of having this building over here is that I cannot really remove the logs and material there until I remove the building itself. It's one of those uh, short uh, sightings of the game, really, but it ought to be fixed sooner or later, I, rec I reckon. Now, uh, did we already get two laborers? We have a laborer here, which uh, is... Well, we have several labor, several children that became laborers, so we can build our house. It might be unclever and unwise to spam houses so quickly, but... I think we can do this. I think we can build at least two more. Because we want, you know, those families to have children as soon as possible. And with those children we shouldn't uh, worry too much for food 
because we're gonna have more laborers and more laborers means more food essentially even though the food is dwindling as, as we go on and on here but it's not really a problem in the long run no one is hungry when you have the food is low message as well as someone being hungry that is a problem but as you can see this is actually producing quite a nice amount of food so it's quite okay for the time being I hope okay <laughs> I hope says the man <clears throat> we're gonna build a bridge here right away now now don't get me wrong a fisher is a very a fisherman or a fishing dock is very effective especially if you can find a place to put it like this one this is a very effective circle I suppose so I think I'm gonna place a fisherman there even though it's quite far away from the working lot we might as well plop a couple of houses as we go with on plopping actually um, let me see a bit now we're gonna pause the game a second and we want to plop down the market plop 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 lots of plopping that's a trading post right over here let's pause this so we can in theory build houses all the way down here and that is not that much of a big walk towards the fishing dock I would of course build also a storage barn over there but before that I think we need more wood therefore we're gonna clear out some forests now it's usually good a good idea not to clear out a lot of forests right at the start because you might need those for gatherers however I don't plan on building other gatherers down here in fact that's good that, that that one gatherer that I built over here is gonna be moved eventually we're gonna move it uh, out and uh, we're gonna have all the gathering and uh, hunting facilities down here instead because I have the feeling that it's gonna be best because we can use all of this space lots of space here lots of space here for farm fields and stuff like that <clears throat> anyway I digress let us start up here what we're gonna build however after this winter is well aside from this bridge of course and uh, a possible second uh, gatherer is a smithy we're running low on uh, tools but that's usually a common problem when you start up there's lots of iron so that's not really a problem we can actually queue up this iron to be gathered because we're gonna need about 40 iron for uh, things to work out for us essentially and we can actually also build up a stockpile, a bigger stockpile, and remove this one as we go on. We're gonna prioritize this one, then build the other one, destroy the other one, I suppose. It's not really a problem, reserves of food is low, someone is hungry. Who is hungry? Uh, what are you doing there? Son? He's a... He's a child. What the damn hell were you doing down there, child? That is not a place to go. Holy cow. Some people nowadays. Okay, let's pause this one moment and uh, figure out how our food production is going. It, uh, it is actually really good. It's uh, above uh, 1000. It's actually 1400, more or less, from what I see. It should be like a total number. I would like that. Even though it, is, it would be useful only for those production facilities that produce more types of food, like chicken and gatherers, on top of my mind. Yeah. <clears throat> so never mind that. For the time being, though, let us think about planning. Think about planning. I don't even know. About plopping down a second gatherers. I might plop it down here, instead of down across the river. Simply because across the river is actually quite a long walk before... Um, let me just check. If I plop it down here... That wouldn't be too, too inefficient. That would be actually really nicely efficient. However, if I plop it down here, it would be pretty damn the same, other than having a little less walking to do? I don't know. I think I'm gonna plop it down here instead. The houses are on this side of the marketplace, so you know. What they're gonna do is turn it around this way. Yes, it's gonna be a bit inefficient because of that hill there, but it's not gonna be a really that big of a problem, I reckon. But before we do that, I'm gonna pause this and we're gonna build a smithy. Because God knows we're gonna need that smithy. We're gonna place the smithy down 
someplace. I suppose we can place it down here. Yeah. That's gonna work out for us. Play. There's nothing to be removed, which is great. There's lots of iron here. No food in stock. That scares me. 22 berries. Count till 10 till they're gone. No, they're not gone. Anyway, that stockpile is built, which is awesome. We can now remove this other stockpile, which we don't really need. They'll have to move a lot of resources, though. But, you know. So yeah, this, this layout, I feel like it's very useful. It doesn't involve a herbalist. I haven't managed to put a herbalist inside of it yet, but I've uh, tried out with Excel. <laughs> I've been playing around with Excel to figure out layouts. Yes, that's what I did also in Anno 2070. Blame me. Sue me, I don't know. <clears throat> but it's okay. Do thus far, it's going out okay. I guess we can increase this over. But it's true that we don't have really that many logs. We need to remove more trees. Gather more trees! For my amusement. Yeah, I shouldn't have queued up that one tree down there. Can I can sell here? Yeah. Okay. Alright. There was already a worker down the, that way. Reserves of tools is slow, however we're gonna have a laborer working at the blacksmith ASAP. Which is gonna provide us 30 tools at the time being. That should be quite okay, I think. Slow down now, alright. Let's go with 30 tools and add up a worker. And queue up this building to be built. God knows we're gonna need that early food. And accelerate again. Things are okay for the time being. I worry a bit that uh, we might run into some food issues this upcoming winter, but things look to be fine for now. Did I place this stupid little wrong way? Because if I did, I totally did. I botched it. What a smart man! Well, we're gonna move also this building, I suppose. Not really an issue. Okay, so the materials needed for the gatherers out here have already been delivered, so now we're only just waiting for the builders to finish up the job, and they should have only that to do, and then we're gonna queue up a couple of workers straight away, and possibly next year we're already gonna focus down on building the marketplace, so that there's gonna be a centralized building for storage, as well as goods. Uh, we're gonna put seven workers now let's put 8, let's fully saturate both gatherers, it might be a bit of an overkill for the time being, but I reckon with the number of laborers we have currently it's not really an issue. However, it might become an issue as we go on down the way, because I'm an idiot. Uh, what we could do is, however, build a uh, um, forester here. Find it, it's winter time already. We can at least queue it up for building. 32 wood, we have actually enough logs for that, so that's okay. Now the problem about this is that uh, they're gonna need to deliver food all the way down here, and it's quite a walk. It is quite a walk, and despite the fact that uh, the walk is also long, uh, this, this, guy's, uh, this guy is going to deliver all the tools he makes inside here, despite the fact that we're actually gonna have 30 tools very soon. There's actually two tools here too. Minus eight degrees! Holy cow, this winter is harsh. We have more laborers. Um, the woodcutter should be built, or rather, forester lot should be built before too long. We're gonna put one worker in it as soon as possible. And probably next year, before we do that uh, marketplace, we're probably going to focus down on building a storage barn across the river for easy, e easier accessible food from that guy. You might believe you might not believe it right now, but storage barns are actually extremely useful tools. Extremely useful. Um, how big is that other thingy? The stockpile over there. It uh, looks like it is a um, six times four. Is that correct? 6 times 4. That is indeed correct. Alright, so we can plop down a stockpile over there, as well as a storage barn. So, let's do that. In theory, I could place a storage barn straight away here, and then... Yeah, I could do that. I'm gonna do that instead. 
It doesn't really matter how you place the stockpile in the storage barn, I just placed it the storage barn further away for a nicer look, like a U-shape of buildings. But it doesn't really matter whether you put it up here and then a 4x6 stockpile down there or the other way around, it is exactly the same thing. No logs! That is a problem. A problem that we're gonna run constantly against for the first couple of days, I think. But we're gonna put a forester, an additional forester, in this lodge. So that's gonna be okay. Meanwhile, people are cleaning up these trees. Now the problem is... Serves of stone is low. Okay. That is quite tricky, but not the end of the world either way. What we can always do is set up this to be cleaned out. No one is dying, so that's good. At around 9 degrees Celsius, anyone that is cold will not be cold anymore. We can queue up all of this to be cleared out. There's lots of stone for the time being. There's a lot of stone down here, so that's not really gonna be an issue, I, re I reckon. So that's okay. Mmm, yeah. Gonna be fine. Tools limit has been reached. Not even close to getting the woodcutter limit, though. Not even close to getting enough logs for building the storage barn, either way. So how is this gun guy gonna produce things? Probably he's gonna clear out the stones and the... Uh, Iron as the way goes, and this guy is gonna be happy. This guy produces a lot of food right now. It's producing 1,700 food last year. Actually, almost 1,900 food. That is spectacularly good. I, I, I'm surprised. That's really good. What about you? You didn't produce a lot because you weren't built at the start of the year anyway. But you're still producing food. Bes besides all that, also they had to deliver all the goods into this storage cart, which is going to be removed eventually. But first, let's focus down on building the storage barn and everything should be fine! We have food. Health is dropping, but that's not an issue until we have an epidemic. If we do have an epidemic, that's gonna be a huge issue. Case of flu would be really bad early on with such health. Usually if you have like a health of 4 or above, a flu, or rather a sick citizen, won't mean anything. He's gonna heal on their own. You don't need a hospital. As, as far as my experience have told me, anyway. But if your uh, health drops to three and a half and below, it's actually starting to become quite troublesome. So you might be careful with that. Considering also uh, illnesses or sicknesses aren't disasters. Disasters account for, I believe, a fire tornadoes and crop infestations. Those are the three that I've encountered thus far in my off-camera experiences. Speaking of fire, we might want to build a well sooner or later. We do not have the materials. We have enough stone for it. But wood? We have actually not enough wood. It requires four wood. And I don't have four wood! Why would I have four wood? Right? Who the hell likes for food anyway? For food! There's a new actor's name, I guess. Is there any palmers in this town, by the way? It would be ironic. Uh, there's a lot of people in this house, but no palmers is found over here. Mm, there is Pamalaya here. No, there's no palmers. This is, there are no palmers this is in this house. This is, but we can plop down on our house for more workers, for more families, for more happiness. Overall, not really, but you know. Overpopulation might be a cause of lack of happiness. I don't know, I have no idea how happiness uh, affects people. Other than building a church and having alcohol stored. I really need what else, uh, what else uh, grants you happiness. I've noticed that when, I, when a relative dies, they start becoming exhilarantly happy, actually. But I think that's just, like, coincidences, I suppose. So we're having already 1,000 stocked food, but we don't have a lot of health. You might want to build a uh, herbalist sooner or later down around here. What else can we build? Well, we, we really need more logs. Hate to do this, but I think I'm gonna build a second uh, forester down, up, up here already. I just need it. I just need all this food production as quickly as possible. Uh, we're gonna put down the stockpile 
Okay, four times six stockpile exactly. And there we go. Things should be starting to get built. Uh, let's see. Trees down here and down here can already be cleaned up, so that's okay. But we won't do that right away. We have a lot of firewood anyway, it's not really an issue. These two houses look... These three houses look exactly the same, which is actually killing my OCD a lot. That's not really OCD. I, I guess it would be better defined as something other than OCD. It's early winter and we're gathering astonishing amounts of food, so that's okay. Health dropped to free, which isn't something I'm very happy of. Now, I think we're gonna build a herbalist starting as of next year. Because we need it! So we're gonna saturate probably another two workers in each forester lock, so we're gonna have two workers in each forester. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna have four workers total, four, four foresters, and uh, having two workers in each forester lodge. There we go. I can I can into talking, guys. I can into talking. English, uh, sometime. Sometime English uh, thing. Uh, not always, not always. Uh, Slavic nature here, okay? Uh, don't, don't, yes, no, okay. <clears throat> that, that was one of the worst Slavic accents I've ever heard, by the way. And I'm Slavic, so I suppose I should know how to speak Slavic. That's more like it. <clears throat> what we can do, however, is uh, remove these resources in the form of berries, mushrooms, and roots, and onions over here. No, no, I didn't want that rock to be cleaned out, but whatever floats your boat, I suppose, if you like that rock to cl be cleaned out, whatever. Uh, we have zero logs. Why am I surprised? It's like story of my life. You have zero logs. We need more lumber! I do like how tr the trees grow up leaves, and then they have the leaves fall off. Actually, our health has been increased, so that's okay. We're not gonna build it too, too soon, the herbalist. Oh my god, free laborers. Uh, right of, out of sudden. Right out of sudden. Su uh, all of a sudden. There we go. I can into English sometime. Sometime. Alright, our builders are going to focus down on building this forester lodge as soon as possible. And with eight laborers available, I might consider actually queuing up more workers at the foresters. Or I could build a hunter's lodge. More food. Venison. Yeah, I think I'm gonna build a hunter. Yeah, we're gonna build a hunter. It is decided. The hunter shall be built. Alright, let's queue up two workers here. There we go. We're gonna queue up to build a hunter lodge down here. Or up there. Let me check really quickly. Um... Ah, uh, it's okay here. That's fine if I build it here. Alright, let's build it here. So you can see that basically now I have that 12 times 14 square. It is a tiny little bit bigger than a marketplace. By two squares bigger. Or keep in mind that the marketplace also needs road all around it. So it's in theory a 14 times 14 square lot in the marketplace. So this is a bit tinier than that. Just a tiny bit. There probably is a better way to do it, I just didn't uh, think I were it too much. I thought I think I planned it for like half an hour maybe. Says the man that he didn't do, a, do it a long time. Uh, whatever. Sometimes you have to think about the logistics of this game. It's not optimal, I don't think so. I think that the best combination would be if also a herbalist would be there. But it works. If you want a layout that uh, has all buildings nicely stacked as well as a stockpile and a storage barn. Here is your building composition. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. We want to do this. Yeah, we can queue up free workers right away, so we have more food variety. That's quite okay for me. Uh, herbalist might be an option right now. I believe that would be the case. I don't think herbalist delivers good to the marketplace or storage barn. I think the citizens go to the herbalist. Is the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try to build a herbalist then, shall we? That's not a herbalist, that's a herbalist. Um, our wood is rather limited. Let's build it here. 
It's quite filled up with trees, so that's okay. It's not really an issue. It's not too far away from the citizens. I think they can do these tracks. The, these tracks, rather. So how how uh, how 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 are our gathers? Oh my god, that is a two thousand plus food production. Keep in mind that the initial citizens of a town are all educated. So they will produce a bit more than the second generation, which is not going to be educated. This also produced a lot. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with how our gathers are doing thus far. So we might... Uh, I don't know. Let me check uh, how many old people there is going to be. One is going to be here. I think I'm going to build a second... Third, third house or something. That's not a house, that's a barn. Okay, this is different looking than the other houses. So yeah, I think I'm gonna build a house here and a house over here. And we're gonna plop down a school next year as well. Because I'm cool, I want a school. We're gonna have this herbalist, one worker. Actually, yeah, two workers now. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. We have lots of food. I think I'm gonna increase the fuel limit to 400. That's one of the things that I've noticed. Mr. Norlion, let's play Norlion LP, whatever you wanna call him. <clears throat> or simply Norlion, or just scumbag. Uh, do his, he does this mistake that he builds uh, woodcutters everywhere, but he has only 200 fuel limit queued up. You know, you wanna increase that gradually as you go. R rather have much fuel than no fuel, besides fuel is actually a great way to uh, trade resources. Be it seeds or just normal food, you know. So that's quite okay. This is fully saturated. Nah, I'm gonna build. I'm. I'm gonna build a uh, schoolhouse about over here. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna be okay. That's gonna be okay. What else can we build? Uh, nothing much. Reserves of log are low. You don't say. Just deciding which logs should be cut down, or rather which trees should be cut down. Sure, there is a huge whiteness zone up here, but you know, sometimes you need to have also a couple of uh, grass fields around the zone. You know, it's healthy for animals, I suppose. I suppose. 520 events, and it wasn't even finished by the end of the season, I believe, because the previous season has nothing. So that's actually really good. So, uh, oh no! The herbalist died of poisonous mushrooms. You're supposed to be the one that heals up people, not die to poison. That happens. That is one of the disaster causes, actually. This is a disaster. It sounds silly, but it literally is a disaster. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this schoolhouse to be finished, and then I'm gonna pause it. It did slow down, I did. It just takes an awful long time to be built. Mr. Builders, I would like to have priority on building that building, please. Laborers can figure out that other things. Yes, 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 I know. Reserve of logs is low. We need more lumber! <coughs> no, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Nice music. Whoa, there we go. They're gonna lure it down there instead of down here. And we have a schoolhouse. BAM! Alright! Let's uh, pause it. By the way, if you press uh, F1 and 2 really quickly, you're gonna get into the pausing state. I believe there might... There might be a control. Some, somehow. Escape, pause, escape. Or rather, menu, pause, escape. But is there any key that pauses down? Toggle padding meter. I have no idea what that is. Toggle pulse. Oh, it's space bar. It's a simple space bar. Genius. You know, I haven't played Baldur's Gate or Dragon Age in my lifetime. No, I haven't. I don't know how to pause the game now. I'm an idiot. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching this new scissors with the Palmer Stone in disaster mode. Was it difficult? 
something. I don't know, you check the thumbnail and the title to know what the name of the series is. I don't remember right now, I made the series, this thumbnail a couple of days ago, I already pre-planned it. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching and until next time, be well. Bye! This was the Loud on Gaming, so... Thanks for watching!